Hey friends, I thought I would switch gears today and make a card. I completely cleaned off my craft desk and um, just kind of put everything away. I wanted something nice and simple to work on. and So I thought I'd work on with these ornamental envelopes stamps and I also have the dies and um, I have a pen friend that I write to um, probably two or three times a year and I wanted to make her a card with this set. I know it's not Christmas anymore but that's okay. She, <laughs> we send each other artsy cards so I'm going to send her one that has Christmas balls on it so I just wanted to try this out. So I've got my um, half sheet of white cardstock. I'm going to keep this simple and I've got a white envelope and I've got one 6x6 six six patterned um, plaid paper and I have the matching shaded spruce Stampin' Up Green colour. So here's my dies and I'm going to use this one because it coordinates with the back of my envelope. And so I'm going to cut out of my pattern paper that shape. So let's first do that. And I'm working with a very small space here. I actually have another table that I work at. But for the sake of lights and cameras and things, I need to work here. And this is a very old uh, Provocrack. Um, machine. I don't even remember what this is called. It's not a cricket. What is this called? Cuddlebug. It's a cuddlebug. I've had this for a long time. Anyway, let's get my plates. Alright, so I have not bought any new plates for this with the Stampin' Up! dies, so um, you know, it's a bit of a little bit of um, just playing around with the dies to see what works and um, the different plates. Okay, so here we go. And I also want to use this to work on my card with, so I need to be careful how I send this through. Let me see. Yeah, that's the side I want. So. Let's go ahead and just send that through. I'm not going to bother with sticking it down because it's, it doesn't have to be very precise. Okay, just keep that going right through. Let's see how that's coming out. Yes, and we have a winner. So, I'm going to put that away. I like to keep up with my dies because these things get lost. All right. Now then. Like I said, this is going to be a very simple and straightforward card. I could make it very elaborate, but on my first go through, I'm not going to do that. So, let's cut this with a straight edge now. Okay, where's my envelope? I'm going to make sure that I am cutting to fit. So, let's see. Okay, that's about right actually where it is. So, let's get that lined up here. that I like about the Stampin' Up! cutter is there's lots of straight edges and marks and things on it that you can always make sure it's straight. I used to have another cutter that I would use and I would take it off and it would always be lopsided. It just never seemed to get it straight. So I've not had that problem with the Stampin' Up! one. And I am just going to glue that down to meet the edge like that. 
Do I want that to be a little bit more? Yeah, I think I might take a bit more out because I am a perfectionist. <laughs> I want that to look even all around. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off there. Alright, and I am using, I've found that this Elmer's Extreme has worked really well for things that need to be thoroughly glued down. And so let's, let's get a bunch of glue on this because we don't want it lifting at the post office. Am I in the frame? I've got to be careful I remember to be in the frame. And let's get that right up at the edge. Come on. Oh, that's as close as I'm going to get it, I guess. A little bit more. Okay, wonderful. Come on. Bit more, bit more, bit more. And there we go. All right. A little bit more glue there. There we go. Well, not as straight as it could be, but it will be okay. All right. I'm terrible with glue, you know that? Get it everywhere. Anyway, there we go. I should have been working on my little sheet. Alright, so now what I want to do to prepare that envelope, just a little bit more. And the reason why I decided not to put it here is because when you send stuff in the mail, people tend to just cut here. Um, you know, by the time you've ripped that up, it's all lost. So that's why I decided to put that on the back. And I may just go in there and fix that down a little bit more with some better glue. But anyway, for now, we're done. And I'm going to use this right here to address. Does that fit on there? Yes. Only just. Okay, nice and sticky. And I make sure I get that nice and inked up. This hasn't been used before, so. Perfect. I like that. Okay. Um, and then I think let's get my stamp cleaner out here. Of course, of course my hands are covered in ink. They always are. All right. That's clean. What else do I want to do here? I think that's awfully big, so I'm not sure I want to use that. Um, but I think I wouldn't mind using this one. I'm going to use this one. See how that comes out. Ugh. Dang it. Got a little bit of glue up there, but that's okay. I mean, a little bit of ink up there. That's okay, because I am going to... 
put a sticker on it anyway, so I'm going to just run the sticker out a little bit further. And I should have known better than to use an oversized block, because that's what happens when you do that. So let's let's change this down. Then I won't get won't get it all everywhere. Okay, let's try another one. See, I've still got it on the corner there. It's such a small die is what it is. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> okay, all right. Perfect. And maybe one more. If I can get it on there without ruining the card. There we go. All right. We're going to stop there. How pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see it? Do I have that in the shot? <laughs> I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave that on there because I may use it on the inside of my card. Not sure yet. Okay, so we're going to put that to one side. And I'm going to wipe my fingers because I'm covered in ink as usual. Okay, now here's my card. And I am going to... I'm going to put the... Um, I'm going to put the design on first and then put some paper down the edge just because I'm not sure how far this is going to go. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do that in green. like it's all covered. It's really hard to tell with those um, strings. But I think we've got it. Okay, now I'm going to put it over to the edge like so. Can you see that in my frame? Move it up a little bit for you. Okay, Oop. And perfect. Love it. So now I'm going to close him up because <laughs> me and ink. Uh, that's, I think that's why I like junk journaling so much because I can play with it. And not worry about getting filthy dirty. And then I'm just going to run some up there like that. How much do I want him to probably to there? That should be four and a quarter, right? No? No. Five and a half. There we go. Because that's the measurement of my card. All right. And beautiful. And Just go ahead and glue that down.
there it is. A very pretty card, uh, but a very simple card. And there's my matching envelope. And I will stuff that with some goodies for my friend and get it in the mail tomorrow. And, you know, it wouldn't be real crafting if we didn't make little glitches like that. So I'll just get a sticker and put it right over. Some of my glitches, I have to start again. <laughs> but this one I can save. Um, and to be quite frank, I love this so much. I don't think there's anything else I would do with that. I could put a uh, um, sentiment on it. But I placed everything so that I wouldn't have to, because after all, Christmas is over, so I don't really want to say Merry Christmas. I could say Best Wishes for the New Year or something like that, but I just think it speaks for itself, and um, I'm going to leave it at that. So anyway, it's the 29th of December, and I believe this set is um, available for two more days. I think they are retiring it, so if you want to get in on that... Um, Go over and have a look on the Stampin' Up! website. And my name is Lorraine E. York, so if you don't have a demonstrator, please look me up. I would appreciate the purchase. Anyway, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. And um, thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.